டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலை அம்மாள் மகாலிங்கம் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோயில் வண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் டு எகைன் இன் தி சொல்யூஷன் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் யூபிஎஸ்சி இன்ஜினியரிங் சர்வீஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் கொஷின்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி டாபிக் இன்டர்னல் கம்பஷன் இன்ஜின் திஸ் இஸ் லெக்சன் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ ஆன் தி சொல்யூஷன் ஃபார் தி ப்ரிலிமினரி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் தி ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரம் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டீன் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் கன்சிடர் தி ஃபாலோ கன்சிடர் தி ஃபாலோயிங் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸ் பெர்டேனிங் டு தி சூப்பர் சார்ஜிங் ஆஃப் ஐசி இன்ஜின் தி பவர் அவுட் புட் ஃபார் ஏ கிவன் இன்ஜின் இன்க்ரீசஸ் தி லாஸ் ஆஃப் பவர் டியூ டு ஆல்டிடியூட் காம்பன்சேட்டட் தி இன்க்ரீஸ் இன் சூப்பர் சார்ஜிங் ப்ரெஷர் டிக்ரீஸ் இஸ் டெண்டன்சி டு டெட்டனேட் இன் தி ஸ்பார்க் இக்னேஷன் இன்ஜின் மெக்கானிக்கல் எஃபிஷியன்சி ஆஃப் சூப்பர் சார்ஜர் இன்ஜின் is quite high compared to the naturally aspirated engine uh, supercharging is the technique uh, to admit more amount of air uh, during the suction stoke uh, particularly uh, when the engine is operating at a higher altitude the density of the air decreases so we have to draw more amount of air more volume of air into the combustion chamber uh, into the uh, combustion chamber during the suction stoke uh, for that we are using a mechanical device supercharger or turbochargers and nowadays you may find many engines are uh, equipped or attached with the uh, supercharging or turbocharging engine so here among the four points the first point is correct the power output for the given engine increases uh, and the loss of power due to the altitude is compensated uh, for the com- uh, for the supercharger engine so the statement 1 and 2 are correct option a is the correct answer the next question again from 2015 question paper consider the following statements regarding supercharging of ca engines supercharging results in quieter and smoother operation of ca engine supercharging of ca engine require increase in the valve overlap the limits of supercharging for the ca engine is reached by the thermal and mechanical loading which of the above statements are correct so all the three statements are correct so here uh, particular supercharging is particularly we are uh, doing for uh, diesel engine compression ignition engine all the three points are correct uh, regarding uh, the supercharging of ca engine the next question from 2014 question paper the following reasons are mentioned while recommending supercharging for the engine used in the aeroplane in aeroplane and uh, submarines more volumetric efficiency better combustion and increased power output so these are all the re- these are all the uh, recommendation these are all the reason for recommending the supercharging high peak pressure increased temperature and the smaller size uh, which of the above reasons are uh, correct so the first option is correct so more volumetric efficiency better combustion and increase the power output that reason for recommending supercharging in the uh, aeroplane engine or submarine engine high peak pressure increase temperature smaller size they are not the reason uh, they are not the main reason for the super charge recommending super charging in the uh, aeroplane or submarine engine the next question 2014 question paper consider the following statement regarding super charging in the diesel engine the mechanical efficiency of super charged diesel engine is slightly better than the naturally aspirated engine there is reduction in the smoke in the case of super charged engine in the overload operation increased overlap valve overlap is used in the supercharger engine so regarding again diesel engine all the three reasons are uh, correct all the three effects are correct for uh, supercharger diesel engine next question from 2016 question paper uh, there are two statements statement 1 knocking in petrol engine is the auto ignition of rich mixer entering the combustion chamber statement 2 knocking is due to the high compression ratio so here uh, statement 1 is false and statement 2 is correct so knocking in the petrol engine is auto ignition uh, of the rich mixer entering the combustion chamber that is not the reason but knocking due to the higher compression ratio that statement is correct next question again from 2016 question paper there are two statements statement 1 automotive petrol engine require petrol of octane number between 85 to 95 statement 2 automotive diesel engine require diesel of ctn number between 85 to 95 so among the two statements statement 1 is true and uh, statement 2 is false so statement 1 the octane number between 85 to 95 is correct but ctn number 85 to 95 is not correct statement the next question from 2016 question paper statement 1 in automotive petrol engines during the idling operation a rich mixture is required so fuel ratio is around 0. 
is equal to 0 0.08. The statement to rich mixer is required because mixer is diluted by the product of combustion. So, the first statement is true. The second statement is the correct reason, uh, correct explanation of the first statement. So, uh, we require higher fuel ra fuel air ratio during the idling operation because of the uh, the exhaust gases retained inside the combustion chamber uh, will uh, will dilute the incoming mixer. That is the reason we require higher rich mixer uh, in the uh, initial Id idling condition of the uh, automotive petrol engine. The next question from 2015 question paper, uh, there are two statements again. Statement 1, a good CI engine, CI engine fuel like diesel oil is a bad SI engine fuel and a good SI engine fuel like petrol is the bad CI engine fuel. Statement 2, a good CI engine fuel require high self-ignition temperature and a good SI engine fuel require low self-ignition temperature. So, among the two, statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is false. So, statement 1, a good CI engine fuel like diesel oil cannot be used in the petrol engine and the petrol cannot be used in the CI engine. That statement is correct. Second statement is not correct. It is a false statement. Next question uh, from 2015 question paper. The statement 1, specific fuel consumption of CI engine is lower than that of SI engine. Statement 2, for the same power a CI engine is bigger in size than the SI engine. So, the answer both 1 and 2 are the correct statements, but uh, 2 is not statement 2 is not the explanation for the statement 1. Both the statements are individually correct. The next question it was appeared in two question paper 2014 and 2015. Statement 1 in CI engine increase of load decreases the knocking tendency. Statement 2 increase of load increases the temperature of the mixer and thereby increases the delay angle. So, here statement 1 is false and statement 2 is correct. So, CI engine increase load of the increase of load decreases knocking tendency that is a false statement. Whereas, second statement increase of load increases the temperature of the mixer and thereby increases the delay angle that is the correct statement. The next question uh, from 2015 question paper there are two statements statement 1 liquid cooled engine are able to vary the size of their passage passageway through the engine block so that the coolant flow may be tailored to the need of each area. So, location with either peak temperature that is narrow island around the combustion chamber or a high heat flow around the exhaust post may require uh, generous cooling. This reduces the occurrence of hot spot. Statement 2, air cooled engine may also vary their cooling capacity by using more closely spaced cooling fins in that area, but uh, this can make either manufacturers difficult and expensive. So, which uh, what is the uh, two effect of the two statements? Both the statement 1 and 2 are uh, individually true for uh, regarding uh, water cool, liquid cooling and the air cooling, but uh, second statement is not the explanation for the first statement. So, air, regarding air cooling and water cooling, the statement given are, given are correct. Next question from 2014 question paper. Statement 1, an SI engine require greater spark advance at lower load. Statement 2, increased dilution by residual gases at lower load reduces the combustion, reduces the combustion rate. So, here statement 1 and 2 are individually true and the statement 2 is the correct explanation for the statement 1. So, the uh, SI engine combustion, SI engine require greater spark advance at lower load. Reason is the increased dilution of residual gases lower the lower load reduces the combustion rate. We require that is why we require the uh, advance in the spark timing. The next question from 2014 question paper uh, statement 1. In common rail system, the nozzle construction is must be closely matched to ensure equality of fuel discharge from cylinder to cylinder. Statement 2. The discharge from the nozzles is regulated by the size of orifice and pressure drop. The statement A 1 is true and the statement 2 is false. The next question from 2014 question paper, the statement 1, the 4 stroke cycle internal combustion reciprocal engine run at a higher speed than the 2 stroke cycle engine. Statement 2, separate exhaust and intake strokes for the 4 stroke cycle engine provides greater opportunity for dissipation of heat from the critical part such as piston. So, here statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true. 
So, statement 2, the separate exhaust and the intake soaks of the four soak cycle engine provide greater opportunity for dissipation of heat from the uh, from critical parts such as piston. So, this statement is correct and the statement 1 is not correct. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I have uploaded the video lectures of all the subject in the uh, YouTube channel and uh, presently I am uploading the questions, solutions for the uh, engineering service exam questions in the YouTube channel. You subscribe to the channel, use the video lectures for your better preparation. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the any of the thermal engineering subject. So, we will meet again with another video lecture in the solution for IC engine questions.